Welcome back everyone. So today's finally the day we'll be installing Black Arch Linux on our custom Arch Linux install. I'll not make you wait any longer. Just open my terminal. And to enable the Black Arch Linux repository, we need to install a script from the official Black Arch Linux website. So just make sure you have wget or curl installed anything you like okay i didn't have an install i'll just install it double get this install now enter this exact url https com slash slash black arch dot org slash strap dot message okay yes we now have the official black arch linux install script by install, I mean the repository install. If you want, we can even take a peek inside the stuff. Yeah, that's the script. That's the script. Now we just need to run it, and it will automatically install all the necessary repositories to access the Black Arch tools. Now, by repository, for some of you that may don't know, when I do this, yeah. You can see we only have two repositories right now. One is core and one is the extra. We need the Black Arch repository right here below this to install tools from the Black Arch servers. So first things first, as you can see, the script currently does not have executable permissions, so we can't run it. Let's see, permission is denied. So sudo change or just change mod. We'll need sudo later plus x for executable permissions in the file name. Strap the message. If I just do this panel again, you can see this is greened out, and we also have the executable permissions everywhere. So now we just have to sudo dot slash strap dot sh. And it will install the back arch keyring. It will take some while, not much, should be done anytime. As you can see, okay, great black arch repository, as I said, is being downloaded here. Now we have the full package database that is installing the bare minimal black arch essentials. Download uh, the most commonly used tools with black arch or any hacking operating system penetration testing operating system to make your system functionable it will install all the commonly used utilities tools and uh, dependencies as you can see all are quite familiar names here get gdb the debugger exploit database air crack should be here somewhere i guess no uh -huh. air crack air crack ng and yeah there's no hacking without metasploits, Python, Wi-Fi, XDG, once the install is done, you will have all the tools installed in your system. As you can see, Metasploit is being installed. Yeah, that's quite a hefty package we got there. Hydra, reverse engineering, open JDK, our Java runtimes and development environments to run tools like Burp Suite, etc. They all run on Java, so we need that. Python is just unavoidable in today's times. Everything runs on Python at some point or another. Most of the tools and scripts are written in Python because of its easy interface, easy syntax, and all. Why am I even talking about Python in the bloody Black Arch video? Okay, forget that Perl, OpenSSH, Nmap, yes. The entry point of hacking, Nmap, no port scanning without it, you know. MariaDB, Medusa, MacChanger. So yeah, once the install finishes, you will have 
very own custom updated working and functional black arch linux desktop so let's just wait it out i will pause the recording now and i'll be back and it's almost about to be completed so as you can see we have encountered a bit of a error here it says well, one of the packages this mono 6.12 failed to download because the operation was too slow maybe the repository is dead not the repository the package hosting itself one bytes per second or, or less so what you have to do now is just read on the script and it should hopefully start from there itself installing keyring package database it will update the repositories once and if install will start again with mono 6.12 up to date see it was as easy as that anytime you encounter such issues just restart the download and 99 percent of the time the errors resolves itself you don't have to do any special stuff for that sometimes you need to most of the times you don't so i'll pause once again this is going to take some sweet while 876 megabytes So the downloads almost completed, 97%, and it should be complete by any time now. Just we have to wait for these micro packages to download. Almost another 200 something packages are remaining. Only the remaining 1%. there now this is going to take some time not much looking at the speed we are getting should be done anytime soon still i don't want to make this video super long so i'll just pause it once again and i'll be back when it's almost done And School modules. And yes, Black Arch Linux is ready. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Black Arch Linux in 2025. With every update there is, because we are fetching the packages in lifetime, real time here. <clears throat> so after this, you just need a reboot. And you should be done with a fresh installed operating system. You can use it however you want. Now about the packages, I'll take a minute here. Uh, you can, if you want to see the groups, like the divisions of packages and the Black Arch Linux repository, you can just hit Pacman open SG, and it will fetch all the groups as you can see here. The black arts linux group start from here black arts this is the 
complete black arch repository if you choose this every tool in the repository will be downloaded and it will be one hell of a download and install you will need intensive internet and resources for this storage too now these are the sub parts of this particular repository web apps penetration testing tools would be here puzzles scanners dos disassemblers now say you want to install a particular subgroup from here if i choose black arch binary so i will just have to sudo pacman hyphen s black arch binary and hit enter enter my password and i'm pretty sure i entered the wrong password pardon me yeah so these are the packages that will be installed within this subgroup these are the packages that exist within this subgroup black arch binary now by default the selection is all but you can choose one two etc i'm okay with the default so i will just hit enter and uh, it will find and fix all the dependencies for each of this software to run once done you will see another download section cannot resolve dependency skip the web packages yes you may yes once again and there it is 1.6 gigabit download and after the download the installation would take six and a half gigabits once again that was just for one subgroup black arch binary if we were to install the full black arch repository as you can see 2831 and 2838 tools open jre yes yes just keep accepting the de defaults unless you specifically want to know some which i wouldn't recommend anyway let's ask for update or conflicts just hit yes and you should see the download screen anytime see so to sum it all up complete download of the full 2838 tools in the black arch repository would consume about 18 and a half gigabit of your internet gigabytes if you are being technical then after the install it would take almost 60 gigabytes of storage that's something so if you want you can install that no issues but as i said you won't be using most of these anytime soon many of them never but it was my job to show you how the decision depends on you so thank you everyone for watching see you soon